Harm reduction means to me not silencing the addicts who are asking for help, requesting your services to find a way out of an abyss, using their drug to soothe the emptiness, trying not to feel with a pinch of a needle. You don't see their pain because they wear a mask with no name. As you exclaim, call them out in shame, addict. I have seen you too, sometimes just once in passing. More often, harm reduction precedes our introduction. And I must say again, I am sorry. I am truly sorry, but I'm choosing to be your friend instead. Because our journey demands payment for passage, solitude for solidarity, with the tears of time spent alone building the waves that build towards our home. Harm reduction means using compassion, because it ain't easy being an addict, and it's even harder to ask for help when the stigma makes you simply want to go back to the darkness. Take it from someone who's gone down the road of addictions. You don't want to do the same. Late nights under blurry city lights, heads spinning at a million miles, dirty needles litter the streets, broken glass and broken dreams. Shards of ice flow in leaking veins, phantom thief of hope till no light remains. Hide the track marks and hide the shame, losing oneself in a baseline of decay. As souls are burned out again and again, society just smiles and turns its head. But leaving darkness in the dark breeds only more demons wandering city streets. But if we can give the most vulnerable a loving space where they are valued regardless of the struggles they face, perhaps through love we can show them a better way. And just maybe, somehow, someday, they will find that place within themselves to stand up and say, I quit. It has been a long, hard road. Words everyone will say someday. Everyone's been down this road and it's always different, but we can all say I've been there. My personal road is far from over. I have learned on the path of harm reduction that you need to be unconditionally kind. There are many ups and downs and unexpected turns and a few years of sitting in the ditch waiting for a helping hand. I may have started my walk alone, and I may finish alone, but I would not have made it this far on my own. Be the loving hand that you wanted and needed. Be the change that you want to see in the world.